In physics, energy is a very important topic. This is because it has a wide range of description depending on exactly what you're looking at. Energy can talk about a change in direction, speed, shape, or temperature. We primarily categorize an energy into two forms, potential and kinetic. Potential is more of a stored energy that isn't being used yet, and kinetic is more of energy of motion. If we look at these two types of energy, it's almost like we can just draw a circle connecting them both. Energy is constantly being converted from one type into the other. So this is just a cyclic pattern, much like nature is in general. So talking about potential energy specifically, again, potential is stored up energy. It is available, but it's not being used yet. We have four different types of potential energy, including gravitational energy, which is all about height, elastic energy, which is all about being stretched. So think like a rubber band or trampoline, chemical energy, which think like food or gas. We have that chemical energy to feed ourselves, to feed our cars. So we can have, let's say for instance, food or molecules in our stomach, or we can have gas in our car that aren't being used exactly yet. And then on a much more extreme scale of that, the nuclear energy can talk more about the sun or the core of the earth where we just have a ton of potential energy going on there. For kinetic energy, again, this is energy of motion. Um, this does depend on mass and velocity. If you haven't gotten there yet with your Newton's laws, don't worry about this. But if you have, then you can know that kinetic energy does depend on the mass and velocity of an object. We have five different types of kinetic energy, including radiant energy, which think about our um, electromagnetic spectrum, our X-rays, microwaves, uh, UV rays. Thermal energy, which talks primarily about heat. This can be talked about um, a lot when we're looking at temperature, but also if we're converting from one type to another, so let's say we want to boil some water, thermal energy would be very important for that. Mechanical energy, um, this is like a person running or a car driving. Think a lot of a standard motion in our everyday life. Sound energy, this can come from voices, radios, musical instruments, basically anything that gives out sound waves. And then our last one, electrical. This is probably what you're using now to view this video. You're using a computer or a phone that is converting this electrical uh, energy <laughs> into uh, something you can view. And so let's take a look at a, an example of converting between our kinetic and potential energies. So a great uh, resource that teachers often use is the idea of roller coasters. So let's say that we are starting on the top of our roller coaster. We have lots of height, lots of gravitational potential energy. If we were to put this into number value, looking at kinetic energy and potential energy, kinetic energy would be zero up here. We're not moving. Um, we're just, we have the potential to move because we have lots of height, but we're not moving yet. So all of our energy would be put into potential energy. So that would be at 100%. As we start to go down the roller coaster, our kinetic energy and potential energy start to be converted. So we'll have 50% kinetic energy and 50% potential energy. And then finally, once we reach the bottom, we have fully converted our potential energy into kinetic energy. So that would be a uh, kinetic energy 100% and 0% potential. And then let's say we take it and we go up a little bit of a, of a little hill. So we have small height going on here. In this case, it would then convert again. We wouldn't lose all of our kinetic energy, but we would lose some of it to potential. So it would be about a 75 to 25% split. This is talking primarily and showing primarily about the law of conservation of energy. This is actually our first law of thermodynamics and it's a very, very important one. So what this states is that energy can never be created or destroyed. We are not magical wizards. We cannot just magically 
produce <laughs> energy out of thin air. So the energy that we do have can only be converted or transformed. I hope this helped out to explain a little bit about physics energy. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and check out my other videos for more physics explanations.